when I talk about Vietnam, it, 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 uh, I lost a lot of friends over there, man. And it do something to me, you know what I mean? I'm like, I had nightmares bad, I mean, real bad. It left a mark on me, you know what I mean? Uh, when I left Vietnam, Vietnam didn't leave me. My name is Fernie Marufo. I'm the Veterans Per Diem Case Manager at the Salvation Army Bell Shelter. I work with nothing but veterans, and most of my caseload are, um, have co-occurring disorders. Uh, most of my clients are from the Vietnam era, you know, so um, a lot of them suffer from PTSD, and uh, this is um, one of the things I'm, I'm able to identify with. Post-traumatic stress disorder, it's a disorder that is caused by a traumatic event, as the name implies. That event could be um, a rape, a physical assault, uh, it could be combat. I, uh, as time progresses on, I got used to numb, I got used to killing, I got used to the bodies. It didn't bother me no more. So, uh, I was, got to the point where, you know, Kill or be killed, you know what I mean? And uh, I, uh, I've seen when women get raped, women get their heads shot off, kids get all blowed up. Mr. Payne um, was a prime example of uh, of uh, uh, veterans who suffered from PTSD. He was having difficulty sleeping. He was having the nightmares. I would go to bed. When I go to bed, I take 17 or 18 of people to bed with me. If you know what I mean. I would go to bed by myself, but somebody else going to bed with me, you know. I'm fighting all night. People tell me, they come around and wake me up. I say, damn, man, what's going on in here? He said, tearing the place up. Franklin was taking a lot of medication. Uh, and uh, because of the pain he's in, and also uh, for his uh, uh, mental health issues. Oh man, I got I got done every pill you could name. I take all together. I was supposed to be taking many while from 15 to 20 pills a day. They had put me on some drugs that I was so messed up. I was walking down the hall by naked. Oh, I, I used to, I used to please let me let me go to sleep without any medication. Our goal in terms of integrating the neurofeedback program is to get some real sustainable long-term results, where folks are sleeping better, where folks aren't having angry outbursts. Neurofeedback gives us the hope that we can reduce the symptomology long-term for folks, which not only will improve the quality of their lives, but they may not have to rely on medication so much as in the past. And that's very exciting for, for them as well, because all these medications have side effects. So getting folks to be less dependent on, that, on, on those medications is, is really important. When we first talked to, uh, to Franklin about this uh, neurofeedback. They said, they're having some tests. If anybody want to participate, come sign your name to the board. The other side said. So I asked, what kind of test are they having? They said, this is a thing called neurofeedback. I said, what the hell is that? After two weeks, the changes were <laughs> incredible. All the staff here who knew Franklin got to see him before he started the treatment and after. And kind of we got to see the progression. And uh, it was interesting. I saw him probably about six, seven weeks into his treatment. And he just gave me a big smile. I asked him how he was doing. And he said, just, Paul, I, I don't know how it's working, but it's working. He said he was sleeping better. He was feeling better. He'd actually lost weight. He was eating less. So. He, he was getting just all these, these great results. I don't take no pain pills. I don't take no psych meds. I don't take no, uh, I, mean, I don't take no, no that's only, I don't take none of that kind of stuff anymore, you know what I mean? One of the things that has happened in our facility now is that the other veterans have seen the changes that have occurred with Franklin. And they see his outlook has changed dramatically. And they want to be involved. They want to, to uh, be enrolled in this program. It's been exciting for staff, it's been exciting for, for clients, and, and mostly for Franklin, of course. Franklin also has uh, lost a, a 20 to 30 pounds. When he leaves this program, he wants to walk out the door. He doesn't want to be wheeled out. 
I believe he'll make it. I believe he'll succeed, that he will walk out of here. You know, that'll, that's, that'll be my success in seeing that happen. Ooh, if, if God let me live to be 100, I, all I want to get my home, give me two dogs, two cats, a nice woman, and get my kids. And that's all I want. And then when I, you know what I mean, if I die, after I get all that done, take care of, get all my kids together, my four kids together, I'll be thankful that I've done my job here on the planet. I think a neurofeedback program would be great for Bell Shelter. It would help reduce recidivism, people returning over and over chronically. It would enhance our program because we'd have a better success rate at helping them become employed, helping them uh, achieve their goals. Given the results that we've seen with neurofeedback treating such a wide range of disorders, you know, from eating disorders to substance abuse, PTSD, depression. We've got many, many clients who could benefit from the treatment here. And so we're very excited. Um, when the program is fully up and running, we hope to be serving maybe 20 to 30 clients weekly with neurofeedback sessions. And, and so, so that's our hope.